All right, so I'm going to share you know, sort of a mercy experience, I suppose, and it took place uh, during the celebration call yesterday, but my understanding is the signal cut out and uh, the message, and people couldn't hear what I was saying, so I wanted to just record it for my own benefit. We were talking about harmony and the way, uh, you know, harmony in worship, but also harmony in the way the gifts interact. And so uh, what was really interesting for me is um, as we were sharing, I experienced from my mercy portion uh, a blessing in the way the different portions were coming forward. So Cindy was sharing how her giver had provided access for Tom to uh, connect and worship in his prophet portion in a new way. And while he was sharing that story, his story of being able to worship, he was talking about how the teacher redemptive gift <clears throat> can sometimes bog people down with information. And that resonated with me because that's a struggle for me with some of the teachers that I know. My wife is redemptive gift a teacher. And sometimes uh, the teacher redemptive gift, I get just oh, too much information and I just lose all, you know, that motivation. And I thought, oh, Lord, why, what is that? You know, because that's teacher doing uh, what teacher does. And and then what uh, what God connected for me was um, Philip had shared, a, uh, was going through Redemptive Gift of Teacher that week, and he shared a, a, his encounter with Jesus, where Jesus was reaching into the heart of God, gathering seed and scattering it throughout the earth. And some of the seed fell on good ground and some on stony ground, etc. cetera, um, it, like is in the parable of the sower. And that's where it connected to me. Oh, teacher's heart is actually to scatter seed. So that's why teacher shares so much information uh, for wherever that seed might bear fruit for whomever it may encounter. So it's not a desire to overwhelm an individual. It's a desire to give uh, to, to let the word bear fruit on a large scale and impact wherever it might fall and however a person might receive it. And so uh, my mercy, thanks to Cindy's giver, experienced Tom's prophet bringing revelation to me about how teacher works in community. <laughs> Yeah, that's a very mercy explanation. Um, but that's how it, how it all worked together. <clears throat> and that was an experience of harmony. And it blessed this mercy uh, beyond measure. And I'm just grateful to see how the community interacts layer upon layer and how it works together. And so I'm grateful for the revelation. I'm grateful to really experiencing harmony in the community. And amen.